Greetings, Yuki Tube, and welcome to the Blue Corner. It's time for a deck profile, and this is going to be on Chaos Dragons. This is actually a modified version of the Hopeless Dragon I was running a couple months ago that you guys liked. And yeah, I played that again. I found it to be really inconsistent in this kind of format. And yeah, I take back what I said about Chaos Dragons. They're actually more consistent than that. Uh, the deck right now is very aggro. I am trying an engine that doesn't involve milling because I have terrible luck with milling, at least on DN. I keep milling like my spells, and in order to get the most out of milling, you ought to run like a 25 to 30 monster deck, or just have great luck with milling. And as you guys know, I have terrible results when it comes to trying to play the odds of luck. Anyway, let's get over um, on this stuff, shall we? Yes. Our lineup consists first of the big dragons, three light pulsar. He brings back your big dark monsters, basically a floater. Yeah, it's a lot better than I thought it'd be. At least you know, when you build a deck around it. One dark flare dragon puts the dragons in your hand to the graveyard that you don't want, and from yeah, either your hand or your deck, uh, remove stuff from the game. Don't really use them that much as far as like a big beating dragon goes. Then you got Darkness Metal Dragon, the best dragon in the game. Dark Arm Dragon, deck runs a lot of dark, graveyard manipulation, he's searchable through Eclipse Wyvern, and a Dark Horus. This is my other major target for my Eclipse Wyverns. That's because I'm running the Escape from the Dark Dimension engine. And yeah, he's just a big beater that the deck can summon, searchable through Eclipse Wyvern, and it crashes with Blackluster Soldier. It was either him or Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and while I'm running the Escape from a Different Dimension, I figured Horus would be the better pick. Then, three Interplanetary Purple Thorny Dragon. I have a couple small monsters that are easy run over in battle, especially with Thunder King running around everywhere. Interplanetary Purple Thorny Dragon hits the field and says, What's up? And every time he says that, the opponent just looks at him dumbfounded, like, what the hell is this? And Thunder King can't beat over this. So, yeah, he's a nice response to your wyverns or your monks getting run over. Soldier, because it's Soldier, Chaos Sorcerer for more Chaos stuff. He's also a Dark. Then you got two Eclipse Wyvern. I only have two at the moment. I traded to get my third Pulsar in. Honestly, I found two Wyverns to be alright. Um, once you use it a couple times, you're not going to want to use it anymore after that. And you'll just be searching on either Darkness Metal, Dark Arm, or Horus, depending on what's in your hand. Uh, not much to say about that. Bring it up with Summoner Monk, make you Utopia. Admittedly, this deck runs a lot better on Dueling Network because you've got access to Love of All Chain, and that makes a huge difference. Uh, it'll be a while before we get that, so... Eh, he's still alright. Red Eyes Wyvern, this one's an auto-include. He's a much-needed beat stick. And he just brings back Darkness Metals during the end phase if you have a normal summon, which does happen a lot in this deck. And lastly, Summoner Monk, I'm running a lot of spells that I can discard to bring out my Red Eyes Wyvern or my Eclipse Wyverns and proceed to make Utopia plays afterwards. You can still swarm Roach if need be. I've also got a wind-up Zen Meister in here for the time being, just as like another beat stick. Then for the spells, one DDR, I remove lots of stuff. DDR gets it back. You get Eclipse Wyvern to the graveyard, remove and play a Darkness Metal. If you've got a Dark Horse in your hand, use this pitch Dark Horse. Get back Darkness Metal. Special Summon Dark Horse. Good stuff. Hidden Armory gets DDR from the hand from the deck or the graveyard. I never noticed how this actually pulled stuff from the graveyard and I feel really silly for doing uh, plays that I, I didn't have to make just because of that. So yeah, this is pretty nice. You can't normal summon. You can still special summon though. 2 MST, obvious choice. Allure of Darkness. I got a lot of darks so it makes perfect sense. Plus it sets up the remove from play pile for my other stuff. Then book. Card Destruction. You can get monster comp hands pretty badly. Card destruction will get rid of all of them. Sucks if you go up against Dark World with this, but aside from that one matchup, this is just a really useful card. Then you got your obvious ones, Dark Hole, Future Fusion. 
Heavy Storm, and Reborn. And for the traps, it's only five at the moment. Two Call the Haunted, this will be three. One Escape from the Dark Dimension, you remove and play lots of darks, this thing just gets them back. And one Return from the Dark Dimension for just a big push, although I'm probably going to take this out for that third Call the Haunted, or, yeah, probably. And for the extra deck, it's pretty irrelevant. All you need is 5 headed dragon for your main fusion monster for future fusion. And then just some rank 4s. Uh, the deck can also make rank 5s, at least this is a particular build. Dark Flare Dragon is level 5, Inter Planetary Purple Thunder Dragon is level 5, so Tiraz and Adrius can be used. And yeah, I hope to pick up an Adrius once Epic Dawn comes out. After that, you just got your break fours. I even threw an Illuminate for those rare chances for your open Wyvern, and the next turn you summon Monk and pull out Eclipse Wyvern. A Shock Ruler Conqueror of Colors is going to be in here. That much I know. Then you just got your basic rank fours to Utopia and Utopia Ray. And that's the deck. It's been pretty alright in play. I would not take this to the regionals, though. A smart opponent will just be able to side deck the hell out of this. And post siding, I wouldn't know what I would be able to side deck in and take out for those uh, duels. Uh, yeah, there's like no side for this deck yet. And I would want to add in some of the essential cards such as Maxi and Valor. I'm running absolutely no defense in this deck, as you can tell, so it's an all in or complete bust type deck. And. I don't really know how I would go about changing this in order to make it more consistent and less sacky and less likely to get screwed over post siding. I've already tried the millage and as, already, as mentioned, didn't work out for me. So I'd like to try and find some way to boost consistency while not utilizing the mill engine, but if people can find a way to come up with a mill engine that does not completely screw me over, i.e. mill my limited cards and only them, because all I ever did was mill my reborns, my future fusion, my torrential tributes, my warnings. I never milled monsters. Granted, again, it's dueling network, so who knows. Maybe in real life the milling will be different. This is all I gotta say. As for how the deck runs, I pretty much play it like a hopeless. People tell me, oh, you're supposed to play it like chaos. Well, how do you play Chaos with this type of deck? Just summon a light and dark monster and beat face? Sounds pretty hopeless sound to me. Anyway, enough about that. Give me your thoughts. Tell me what you would do to improve things. What you would overall. If you can come up with a much better engine than what I've got going here. I'm open to suggestions. Thank you all for watching. Until the next time, take care.